Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host L2Jim007, and today we're looking at the Rustcraft plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin based on the video game Rust, and it allows you to create clans on your server and fight battles over territory. It has some really awesome features, such as this structure forming feature, where these six buildings will just spawn randomly throughout the world, and they contain loot, which you can find. And there are some other awesome protection features as well. So we're going to jump into it. We will start with the different structures. So I'll show you how to make this work in a second when we go to the config file. But you can see there's a few different types. There's some kind of towers and hangar buildings. And then if you were to find one randomly, they may have mob spawners or other good loot in. And then if we go down here, there will be a rust craft chest and that contains some rather good loot that you could find. And it's going to be the same story with all of the others. So we could have a look in this one if we go up this little tower here. And there we go. So that's pretty awesome that these spawn randomly and you can change how often they spawn in the config file. You don't want to make the numbers too big because then it can affect how much RAM your server is using. So the next thing we're going to look at is the command. So if we do forward slash clan, that is going to show us all of the commands that we can use. So down here we can see a chest. This is my clan chest. So this is what you place down when you create a new clan and it will protect the region. So if I do forward slash clan leave and then clan leave confirm, that is going to get rid of my clan and now I can break this chest and there is no clan here. So if we want to create a brand new one from scratch, we can do clan create and then hit enter. That will give us the clan chest and then we can go around and we need to find somewhere that hasn't already been taken to pop it down. So once we've done this, it says Chris Alano has created his clan and then if I fly away for a little bit, you will see it says I have left the territory of clan one. So what you can do is forward slash clan name and then call it something. So we're gonna call it server miner and then choose a color. So I think, is gold a color? Gold is not a color, we can use yellow. There we go, so now the clan is called Server Miner. And we can also change the clan description as well if we want, so I don't know, this is a test, like so. And then if you do forward slash clan info, it will give you some information about it. So we're clan level one, obviously it's just me and the clan and I just created it, so it's the lowest level. And then the clan name and description have been changed and it is currently a private clan. And now once we leave the territory, uh, it says we have left the clan server miner. So clan levels can be improved um, and you can go to war with other clans. And if you beat another clan, your uh, level will go up. And if you lose against them, you will obviously lose the level. And then this chest here and this territory that I keep walking in and out of, that will protect any chests that you have here. And this only happens when everyone is off the server. So if one of your clan members joins the server, these chests will no longer be protected. It's only while you're offline. Now it's not just as easy as that to protect your chests because you need to pay for this protection. So in this chest here, we need to put various items. So if we do forward slash clan needs, you will see you have enough resources to protect you the next day and the value in my chest is zero. So as your clan gets to higher levels, it requires more resources, aka diamonds, to protect it for 24 hours. So if I do the same command now, it says the value of resources in your clan chest is 25. And it may cost maybe 10 or 15 points daily to have this protection when you're offline so no one can go in your chests. And you want to make sure you have enough diamonds in there, otherwise you will be unprotected. So another pretty useful command if you want to change the location of the chest is by first of all emptying it and doing forward slash clan change. That will give you the chest in your hand and then you need to fly relatively far away. I think this is probably too close. Yep. You will be relatively far away from your original territory to be able to put your new chest down and there we go. We have now modified the location of server miner and then now it's this area here. So let's head over to the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel and if we scroll down into the Rustcraft folder, you can see there is a config.yml and a languages.yml by default and then we have these six schematics in here which will randomly spawn in your world. Now by default, these schematics are not here. You need to put them in manually. So if we go to the uh, SpigUp site and go to the Rustcraft page, hit download. Now the most recent .jar file does not include those schematics, so if you want to get them, you have to go to version history, 
uh, click on the third one down 3.24 download this and then if we have a look in here we have the Rustcraft plugin zip file and then we have Rustcraft plugin here are the six and then what we can do is just zip them up together send to compress zip and I'll just call that test and then once we've done that we can go back to our plugins folder so plugin slash Rustcraft and you want to upload this zip file with all the schematics in and then once that is uploaded we can then unzip it and that will bring all six schematic files in um, obviously they be duplicates um, and that will allow the plugin to actually use them so make sure you do that otherwise your world will not have any of these anyway moving on to the config.yml if we jump in here there's a few things we can change up at the top we've got the values of various items for the chest in the clan territory i gave an example of a diamond that you can use um, but iron is worth a little bit less so is gold so you can change these numbers if you really want um, and then if we scroll down we've got the chance of loot spawning in those rust craft chests that we showed in the schematics um, and then obviously the advanced chest has even better items so that's pretty awesome and then we have these structures so these numbers are here by default the developer on the speaker page said you probably shouldn't change them too much uh, to prevent RAM from um, being used excessively and then radius per level so as you go up clan levels you will get a wider radius that is protected um, and you can obviously change that number here scroll down and then war time so how long does a war last for and then the minimax people in a clan to declare war on someone else and then the max clan members number here 25 and then the max number of clans the world name so make sure that matches the name you want to have the clans world in um, and then do we want to allow mob spawn yes or no and then can any players destroy buildings in your territory yes or no as well and then we obviously use the English language in the other file so not too much in there you can change um, just tweaking various numbers um, to your liking effectively so here we are back on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.15 to 1.18 here are the main features with the clan system clan leader the leveling and war system the structure structure generation system and custom loot here are all the commands um, and then down here it talks about the schematic files which I showed you how to do so that is the plugin obviously if you have any issues or suggestions you can contact the developer if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time <laughs>